Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory. Or I'm sure you can hear it, but the Beast 2.0 is now fully functional and we are producing 90 crystal oscillators per minute. And with this project done, we will now ascend past the space elevator and start building above it. But somehow we have to design the piece in a way that makes this actually still look good. Because there's no point having a beautiful machine if it's going to be covered by a poopy brown hat. Oh yeah, and our power grid's failing. But it's just a couple malfunctioning nuclear power plants. Like, it couldn't be too bad, right? Right. So yeah, as I'm sure you guys would agree, I'm just going to start working on the base now. It's not like the nuclear waste is going anywhere. Ever. But you better believe our designs are. Because man oh man, the base is already looking spicy. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have walls on both sides and we're going to open this up to the world so we can always see the space elevator no matter how far away we're standing. Except it'll still be kind of hard to see it from below because, you know, the base is kind of massively tall. So we're just going to cut out a little bit of the floor here and hopefully that helps out a bit. And then up above here we're just wrapping everything up with some nice packaging and you know what? That's really all that matters, right? So we're all good. And then it looks like we're going to have a floor over here. We just have to figure out what to do with this weird dead space. Well, aside from fill it all in with concrete, as we always do. Well, maybe we could put like a bouncy park in here or something. Doesn't really matter at all. What matters is getting past this thing and making a design that looks good. Like we're going to have to encase it somehow. And you know what? I think the pretty obvious idea is we just build a bunch of pillars around it that hold up the rest of the tower that goes into the great beyond. Oh, hold up though, hold up though. I don't think I can even build pillars past it because the base doesn't extend as far as the space elevator. Hmm, that's a problem. Well, maybe though, we can just be a little sneaky and build a pillar through the space elevator. Huh? Huh? Could work. Ooh, scratch that. Does work. And now we are about to ascend past into the great yonder. Where our base can get infinitely taller forever. But first, I have waited all game to do this. Can we stand on this? Like, I just want to know. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, brother? I gotta say, my disappointment is immeasurable. I want to put a bunch of power slugs just dancing around all on this thing. But uh, apparently not. Big oof. Well, at least on a good note here, we didn't have to worry about, like, crashing into any hitboxes or anything when we are building the pillars. So, that's good. And yeah, you know what? It's not bad. Or to be honest, it might be the best it's gonna get. And yeah, we can see a glimpse of it from, like, a couple angles here, so that's pretty good. And then, like, when we get, like, a decent distance away and we turn the fog off and all that kind of jazz, it looks really, really good. But now I just gotta fill in a little bit more, because right now it's kind of just a box. But now, guess what, guys, guys, rad strats, we're gonna add a box to the right of it. What? I know, right? And then, oh, okay, don't freak out. We're gonna add a floor up here. So if you think things are wild now, just get ready. Get ready, buckle in, because things are starting to look so good that even the environment can't handle it. Okay, so now what do you guys think? We got something spicy going on here, or is it again of a poopy brown hat? I think it looks pretty cool. Added some detail into like the ceiling as well. Like we got some arches, we got some supports. It's looking pretty neat. And then on the right, I just added in another little box and it's looking fine there too. But I guess we kind of need to see things at a distance. That's the most important angle here. And right off the bat here from our little perfect platform. Yeah, I'd say things are looking pretty spicy. Pretty spicy indeed. Oh my goodness though, brother. From a distance with all the walls filled in now? It j it, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's beautiful. A masterpiece. Yep, I absolutely love it. And with like the tiered layers and stuff going on over to the right, it just makes it look even better. Except for the weird see-through wall floor glitch that's going on. But obviously that'll get fixed. Right now, that's one spicy meatball. And you know what? Even better here, I just got the best idea with what to do with all that empty space. So while working above the space station here, I've always had to make a ton of concrete paths and floors and jump pads and all the jazz, right? 
And then whenever I needed something, gotta jump off the base, fall all the way down to our storage containers, grab whatever simple stuff I need, and then begin our bouncy ascent all the way up the tower. This whole process is annoying and takes like three minutes, and you know what? We're not gonna do it anymore. So with a huge portion of this space, we're just gonna make a temporary warehouse. But now how do we bring everything up here, right? If only we had some kind of massive vertical bus that had a lot of extra capacity just available somewhere. Oh, wait a second. We do. All right then, let's just do a little shopping list. So we're gonna need concrete, iron rods, iron plates, more iron plates? What? Why do I have this even here? But anyway though, we're also gonna want our alclad sheets, of course, our wire and cables, right? Right? This one's unused, actually, and then, uh, quick wire? Nah, you know what? We could just bring up a storage bin of this and have, like, a manual warehouse. Something like this over here, where we just kind of manually bring items to it, and we don't really care. Like, we don't use rotors every day, nor do we use circuit boards and quick wire all the time, either. That just means we have one, two, three, four, five, six things to bring up the tower. Easy. Super simple, in fact. Oh man, oh man. And you know what? I think this is gonna be one of the most convenient builds we've ever done. Like, on par with the one by one elevator designs. Like, we have it all here now. We're set. In fact, we're more than set because I brought fuel up here as well. It's better than our main hub. And now, we bounce pound across our amazing beast 2 to our new hub. Hub 2.0. Look at it. Beautiful. All of the necessary things auto-refilled right beside us here. Check it out, we got our fuel. We have the alclad sheets, etc, etc, etc. But oh wait, what's going on here? What? Two storage containers? Yes! So I can go to one half container, take them all, and then have half my inventory still free. Genius! I know. And I do this for our iron plates, our iron rods, wire and cable so everything is hyper convenient then off to the right here we just have a free bin so like if i just need to throw everything away there we go just throw it in there easy convenient like i said nice balcony for looking at the fog then off behind the bin we have an airport because come on what kind of hub doesn't have its own personal airport then we just have our workbenches as well, and our large storage area. Oh, wait a second. No, that's not all. Because our main elevator is also attached to the Hub 2.0. So now, as we move further up the base, we just have to enter and leave through here. So no more flying across some death pit. Well, I guess unless you consider this a death pit. But this is more so a time sink. Anyway, though, we have a second floor to our Hub 2.0, where we can automate kind of things we just need, like we need some turbo motors, throw the stuff in the bins, everything goes into the manufacturer, and we're good to go. And same deal with anything we need to assemble. Just have an assembler here, boom, to the bin. And that is pretty much everything. We are ready to build into space. Oh yeah, but there's still that one other thing. Our failing power grid, because we're usually making about 79,000 megawatts, and somehow we lost 22,000. Oh boy, let's deal with some radioactive fun stuff. So what is the problem here? Well, clearly, a bunch of these bad boys is not running. I think they each make 2,500 megawatts of power. So that should be about four of them not going? Five? Wait, no. Eight of them. Eight of them aren't running. All right, all right, I'm picking up what you're putting down here. So, uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh, but hey, look at that. There's actually an animation with these things now. Oh man, when they were first introduced, they didn't have nothing. They're so plain and boring. That's pretty neat. And maybe once they melt down eventually, we'll have a new little animation too. Anyway, we'll see that a little bit later on. We have to reload these with nuclear fuel rods in a bit. And that's just by turning on our nuclear fuel rod factory. Now uh, that's not the main concern here though. The real problem is gonna be this nuclear waste. Because you see, 
I kinda estimated we had about 150 hours before we had to worry about this stuff, and it's kinda been 200 hours since we built this plant. So our nuclear waste storage here in this waterfall cave might be looking a little, hmm, concerning at this point. Let's get the old suit on and take a gander. Okay, and like five feet into the cave and it's already hyper radioactive. I like it. Alrighty. Yeah, this ain't good. The main storage is like right over there and we pretty much are maxed out on radiation levels. So I am presuming we got maybe a bin full, maybe two. Shouldn't be more than that though, right? Let's check. So it's gonna be this one that goes first and it's gone. Luckily the nuclear waste is stored in stacks of 500, so whew, that's good. So this should take quite a bit to fill another one. Or does it? How's this one? Oh yeah, that's just fine. That's like not even a third of the way full. Okay, so a, a bin and a bit here. And then how this thing is designed is that there should be another bin and a bit on the other side here. I think that's just up over here, right? Yeah, so there's a little bit and there's a bin. Cool. So that only means like two and a half bins are full of waste in 200 hours. So we should be fine for ever a long time. A very, very, very long time. And now with this one little wire, all of our power problems are solved. Just gotta leave this bad boy running for a couple hours and we're good to go! So I guess that's gonna be all for today then. Also, this episode was made a little bit differently than my other videos, so let me know what you think. A little bit shorter, a little bit more fast paced, etc, etc. So yeah, I'd love to hear some feedback from you guys. But anyway, thank you for watching and have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.